What's up guys, I'm extremely excited to show you the progress that we have made on the new Gibsonia location. So right now we are standing in the showroom and as you can tell, there's been a lot that has changed since the last time that we were in here. So the paint is down now. So we've got the all new LED lighting installed above our heads. That was here last time. Now we've got the gray, the green stripe and the black on the wall, just like the Late Trobe location. These are of course the exact same colors as the Late Trobe shop, so everything is consistent across the board. We're still in the process of painting the rest of it. All of this trim is gonna be turning black from that bare wood color. Over here is sort of a test run. We're gonna be putting a car in the showroom and we're, we wanna have it on race deck. Of course the yellow is gonna become lime green and it will be more organized than this, but we wanted to get some in here and just get a rough idea of what it looked like. Probably gonna have to come out a little bit with it. And I think Justin ZR1 is probably gonna be the first car featured in the showroom. This guy is like the only guy that outworks me. That is Stretch. And he is the one painting all of this and doing all this stuff and he is freaking awesome. So we've got this big area. Haven't done a whole lot here other than patch some little holes and things on the wall. This is getting painted. We're starting on it today, you can see some of the black is going down. Same color scheme back here as it is in the showroom and on the outside of the building, just like in Latrobe. And this is new. So we've, we have a hole in the wall now, which is nice. Before we just had a man door there, so you couldn't get a car in through this side. We had to pull them in through the showroom doors out there. But now we've got this big hole. This is a 12 foot door. That's a 14 foot door there. So we could actually pull tractor trailers and things in uh, at least this far for tinting purposes and things. But now we can get cars in and out freely. This is eventually going to be trimmed off, of course, and have a roll-up door before we open. So that'll be happening very soon. And over there is more stuff that we're not going to show you right now. So outside, lots of things have changed. First thing you will notice is the paint scheme is, is the same as the Latro building and it is fully painted all the way around. There's a couple little touch-up pieces we're working on right now, as well as this service bay area. You can see most of that is painted. Uh, but believe it or not, there's a problem with bees. <laughs> so we're waiting on the exterminator to fully finish their job to get rid of all of the bees. I can see them flying around here now. So those will be gone before we open too. Over here, we have compressors. This had like this little crappy house thing built over top of it. And the little house thing is gone. We need to get those compressors out of here next. We don't need any of that stuff for what we do. So we do own the whole way up to the woods and the whole way over basically to the road. So this fenced in area is gonna be getting cleaned up very soon. All of these little trees and weeds and everything cut out of there and cleaned. Uh, we'll be able to do some storage outdoor stuff as well as indoor. So this might be boats, RVs, trailers, anything that people need to store in this area but don't have the space to do it, we can help you out with that. Inside, we're gonna be doing more luxury car storage like a valet service cleaning the cars for you, making sure that they're ready for you every time you want to drive it. Just give us a 24 hour heads up. Side of the building's painted and the last remaining part of Pro Motorsports is still on the building. That will be leaving soon, replaced with blackout. It's exciting. And we've got our landscaping torn out of here, which is good because it was awful. Uh, we need to do something with it though. So there was a retaining wall here with a bunch of railroad ties that were rotted and just old. We're gonna be doing something here and then, I don't know yet. <laughs> River rock, shrubs, something along those lines. That'll happen in the next couple of weeks. We gotta clean up this lot still too. This will probably be the last thing that we do after all the landscaping and everything is done right before we have some type of grand opening party. Got our coming soon sign. So the wonderful world of Gibsonia and North Pittsburgh in general knows we are on the way. I lied, there's one more Pro Motorsports sign. This parking lot is enormous perfect for car meets. If you have a car club, uh, if you belong to a group of people that want to rent a parking lot for car club related things, please shoot us an email or call us. We can organize some stuff. I know the Porsche club is already signed up to do some things here. This side of the building's painted as well. Like I said, the whole exterior is done. So that's what's going on down here in Gibsonia. We are super freaking excited. We think about a month or so we should be open. We'll be hiring for some positions. If you're looking for some work down in this area, or if you've got cars, we'll be scheduling appointments very, very soon, as well as the indoor storage. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. We're going to give you updates as we progress, and we'll have a grand opening party soon. Thanks a lot, guys. What's up? What do you think, man? Looks awesome. I'm pumped. Is this your home? This is my home. And you're the GM. GM, yeah. Dude, you're the GM of like the biggest building in the world. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Steelers! <laughs>